crampons are necessary for glacier and snow travel, mountaineering, and ice climbing. All crampons are made of a metal base with metal points which dig into the ice and snow. There's also an attachment system to attach the crampons to boots. Mountaineering boots have a specialized region on the boot to facilitate attachment known as welts. If you're unfamiliar with welts, see the mountaineering boot video. Almost all crampons on the market currently, like these, are the semi-rigid design, which is a three-piece design. The front and rear piece, which is connected by a linking bar. For many models, alternative bars, such as long and short or highly curved versions, can allow for a better fit depending on the kind of boot. Semi-rigid crampons are highly versatile, allowing the user to both climb and walk in them fairly comfortably. Rigid designs still exist on the market and are used on double plastic boots. They're good for vertical ice climbing, but every year these models seem harder to find. They're often known as cookie cutter designs because the vertical alignment of the base plate sides cut into the snow when walking. Semi-rigid crampons have a horizontal base plate which sits on the snow. For non-technical snow walking, crampons with eight points, which may not include front points, are best. These can be made out of lightweight material or steel because they will not wear down. The linkage bar should be flexible to facilitate easy walking. A strap attachment system is all that's required. Boots used with these crampons should have a flexible sole so you can walk easily and comfortably. For ski mountaineering and glacier travel, a 10 or 12 point crampon like this is often a good choice. The front points should be horizontal and shorter is better for these activities as there's a lot of walking and less incline travel. For those traveling fast and light, aluminum is a great choice for material because of its reduced weight, but if they're used on rock a lot, they will wear out faster. For ski mountaineering, a step-in crampon is most compatible with the boots. For glacier travel, any binding type is suitable as long as the boots are compatible. The three common binding types are strap-on, step-in, and hybrid. Strap-on models like these use a system of straps and buckles to attach the crampon to the boot. They don't require boots with welts. There will be some play between the connection of the boot and the crampon, which may be unnerving for climbers when they're climbing on moderate ice. And that's why you may want to explore some other options, like step-in crampons. They require both a front and a, a rear boot welt, both of those. There's a metal bar or bail at the toe of the crampon, which sits in the front welt of the boot. At the rear of the crampon, there's a lever which is connected to the crampon with a wire. This can be adjusted for a very precise fit. This type of model allows for the best connection between the boot and crampon and is suitable for highly technical climbing. Along with mountaineering boots, step-in crampons are good for ski mountaineering and also they can be used with telemark boots. Semi-rigid crampons, also, often also called hybrid crampons, have a toe strap similar to strap-on crampons and a heel lever as found on step-in models, hence the name hybrid. They require boots with a semi-rigid sole, but they don't require a front welt on the boot. Without the need for a front welt, these crampons can be easier to put on with gloves. The less precision is required to line them up and get them ready. Technical ice climbing offers the most options when you're choosing crampons. Steel or stainless steel should be used for the crampon to increase durability. 14 or more points is the common number for vertical climbing. Vertical ice climbing sees the use of both vertical and horizontal points. Climbers all seem to weigh in with their own preferences, as they tend to do. Horizontal points may reduce shearing in the ice when climbing, and vertical points offer better penetration. Crampon models for more technical ice and mixed climbing tend to have vertical points. Vertical point models are available with modular points. They're a really nice option because you can replace points when they're worn down, and they often offer the capability of using a mono point, a single front point, as opposed to the common two front point. This is a very nice feature for climbers who spend lots of time with their crampons on rock because that tends to wear down the points. Non-modular points must be sharpened over time, so they'll wear down and they will get shorter as you sharpen them. Shorter front points allow for easier walking, so if you don't intend to be on steep climbs, choose a crampon with shorter front points. Along with your crampons, an important accessory is a crampon bag. These are thick material bags which, allow, which will protect your other gear in the backpack from the crampon points, and they have the added benefit of preventing you from stabbing yourself, which is nice. You can also get point covers, which are little caps, but these are much more finicky to use. If you're going to be doing a lot of walking on snow, you can get anti-balling plates, which will help to reduce balling of snow under your foot.